All right, so here is a look at what we got at the DFW Thrift Convention. We had a lot of fun and spent a total of $105, including parking and admission. So let's start down here. I really liked these antique things. <laughs> uh, they're so different, I gotta go through each one. This is a typewriter eraser, and I only know what this is because recently at my school, we had a virtual field trip to the Nasher Sculpture Center in Dallas. And they talked about an artist who I love now, who did a big sculpture of this. And we will insert that picture right here. So yeah, Matthew had to tell me how this kind of worked. Oh, there's Benjamin. <laughs> um, and you basically erase it, and this is to get the dust off of it. So very interesting, and it was only $2. Eberhard Faber or Faber Van Dyke. Thought that was cool. This is really old and I couldn't find it anywhere. Color Tip Gum, Sterling Mint Company of New York. It had 10 sticks and it's fruit flavored. I didn't take the price off because I wanted to remember how much I got. But look at that, the Aristocat. Oh, I'm so used to Aristocats. The Aristocrat of Gums, cigarette form. Spearmint fruit and peppermint wintergreen. I just love that for $3. That'll probably be to keep, but I can't find it anywhere. Next is this Jack Collier or Collier Professional Drugstore little package, and it's from Fort Worth. And I looked, and they still have Jack Collier um, drugstores. This was only $2, but take a look at it. It's like a little prescription up here. Apply to nose three times a day for irritation. So now I know this is from 1960. Really, really cool. So this is over 60 years old. And yeah, $2. Also, I got some matches. Now there's a funny story. I was digging through the matches and I like to take my time. So Matthew left and came back. And this guy was talking to me about how he likes to collect matches. And turns out he is from the Secret Beach um, and the Thrifting Board. And he knew us because they had watched my live. So shout out to you, Denise and Rich. And we talked to them for a long time. It was so great meeting people there. First off, I got this bundle of matchbook covers. And you know, some collectors actually store them like this. And it was only $3. So I'm gonna show these off in a separate video. But I think that's a great deal. I mean, if anything, I'm gonna enjoy looking through it because I collect matches to a small degree. Now, these were 50 cents each, and I thought that was a great deal because look, this is one matchbook, Shelly Matic. And uh, supposedly they made like restaurant wear, as you can see right here. This rugged telescoping elevator mechanism is the basic component found exclusively in the Shelly Matic self-leveling dispensers. So cool. Shelly Matic means a lifetime of trouble-free performance. Look at this matchbook, but I like this side even better. Take a look at that. <laughs> that is the little elevator thing that they're talking about and it shows them as a waiter. How cool for 50 cents and I can't find it anywhere. I might list that later because I think it has all the matchbooks too. But really quick, this, these are the ones I picked up. I love this Pizza Hut for 50 cents, Pizza Hut, coast to coast. Quality reigns supreme, I love that. This is a bar that we've been wanting to go to in New Orleans, and we will go next time we go there. Carousel Lounge, Hotel Montalone, um, Montelione, or Montalone, I've heard it, Montalone. <laughs> Anyways, they have a, a carousel actually in the bar, New Orleans only revolving bar, super cool. And uh, yeah, that's on my list, so I picked that up. Now this is really cool. Uh, fun fact about these Holiday Inn signs, they are no longer in existence. Like they, not a single one survived, according to Charles Phoenix. <laughs> Love him. Use the Holodeck system for free advance reservations. I just love old, old marketing and advertising. So this is a place we're actually gonna go on vacation, and my brother has been there. And we learned about it from the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. Oregon Stop Pizza, This I was so happy to find this. I think this is my favorite one. It only goes for about $6 on eBay, but it is in Phoenix, Arizona, and if you open it up, 
It looks pretty cool. I love how it has the words right there. Featuring the Wurlitzer Theater Pipe Organ. So neat, 50 cents. Uh, going faster, this is, this reminds me of a knockoff of the <laughs> Holiday Inn sign, but not a knockoff, but that's pretty similar. But I got it because of Roswell. We love going to Roswell and New Mexico in general. Astro Domain, I just loved how that looked. And I have family in Houston and that's the Astro Dome right there. Here is the Trade Winds Motor Hotel Restaurant. I just liked it because it's very mid-century. I believe they have one on Route 66, but also I didn't know it was like a chain. And if you open it, man, I thought this would be easier with one hand. Yeah, there we go. It shows some other ones. Yep, Route 66, 66. Swimming pool, playground for kitties. <laughs> Qualified babysitters, hold on. What else does it say? Direct dial room phones. <laughs> I just love that. Qualified babysitters. Uh, Stardust. I wanted this just because of how it looked, but I'm so happy I got it because when I looked inside, look, Aku Aku, uh, which was a tiki room. I love how it has that in this matchbook. And last but not least, get that holiday feeling at Holiday Inn. And there's the sign again. So yeah, I had fun digging through the matches and the guy who I met, Rich, actually ended up purchasing the whole bin for 45 bucks. So that's a great deal. I love to see what he finds that I didn't find. And most of these are to keep. I might look up, I actually, I kind of looked up most of them. I think I might sell that one. Next, I hardly ever find swizzle sticks in places and I love looking through them. So here are the ones I got. The Jolly Roger. I still need to look that place up, but it sounded pirate to me. I love this Dunes Swizzle. Port of Call. You know, Dallas actually had a tiki restaurant called Ports of Call. Ports of Call, and I think it was a chain. So I wonder if this is related. The Court of Two Sisters. I already knew that this was in New Orleans because we have a glass that we have for sale <laughs> up on our eBay store. So if you're interested in that. Uh, this is Benihana of Tokyo. I already knew this symbol because it's on some of their mugs. I love it. In fact, they have a mug that looks like that, a tiki mug, and I don't have it, but my brother does. This is Beef and Barrel. I just liked it for some reason. Uh, Beef and Barrel Company. I think it was a chain, and I recognize this right away. This is my favorite. It's a Minahuni from Trader Vic's. See, you can see right there, which I believe they're like... They're almost like gnomes or fairies. Like, I don't know, there's some folklore to it and I love it. And this one was interesting because it's Old Crow Bourbon Whiskey. And there's this little plastic crow on the top. So I was really pleased with those swizzle sticks and I, pay, I paid $4 total. All right, this is one of the most expensive things I bought and I did not mind paying up for it because I've never seen it before. I love vintage advertising, like I've said, and I, I just was happy to support all of these resellers uh, that were bringing booths there because we might do it next year. Um, fill up this jar with Criddle's finest golden syrup. Criddle and Sun, I could not find this container. First of all, look how cool, it's very hexagonal. Yes, I paid $9.99, so basically 10 bucks, but I love it instead of Griddles, I guess it's Criddle's. Yep, and I just I just love it. It's gonna be a display piece in our house. And right here, you can probably guess the brand, especially if you've been watching our videos. It's Francoma. Now, we only paid a dollar for this one. And at first I'm like, ooh, is that kind of like a tiki mug? But I didn't think it was, but it kind of has that look to it. But it is a honey pot. And after she said that, I'm like, oh yeah, it does kind of look like a hive and I've seen them before. It is missing its lid, but she had it for a dollar. And I'm like, yeah, let's get it. And then this didn't have a price. It's like a demi toss, And I believe it's an Aztec pattern and probably prairie green or, well, they have lots of different brown slash green. Plus I'm green brown colorblind. <laughs> I get those confused. So I always have to get Matthew to tell me like the olive brown, I always get confused. Like is that green or brown? But anyways, this was $4, a little more expensive. It's actually probably worth about 
Now these California raisins I kind of paid up for. I don't buy a lot of toys for myself. Actually, that's kind of a lie. But these were just $2 each and I just thought they were so cute. 1988 from Applause. Um, look at her or him just lounging, enjoying the beach. Oh, is that why she's all wrinkly? And her with her little tambourine and her heels. I love it so much. $2 each and that'll just be on my little shelf. And these are one of my favorite things. They are not vintage, but they are paper mache made by an artist named Nicole Sayer, or Sayer. And she's actually really popular and her stuff goes for big bucks on eBay. I only paid $5 for the pair. Um, some people are selling just one of them for $37, but lots of her stuff goes for a hundred or more, especially the Halloween. And I just love the look of them. And uh, they have these little hooks, so we thought maybe something was dangling. Um, at first I said, I think you can hook them together. And Matthew's like, no, something probably dangled <laughs> there, but who knows? I just really like them. So $5 total, we could easily make probably 60 bucks for both or more. I'm thinking 80 actually. So we'll probably put that up on eBay later. All right, next, this is the most expensive thing we bought. It was $26 for the pair. Um, it was worth it though, because not only do we really like it, but if we were to sell it, it can go between 45 and 60. So we're gonna enjoy it for a while. Uh, name the brand, what do you think it is? It is Treasure Craft just like we thought, Hawaii. It just has that look. Now the crazing right there, that's called crazing, like cracks in the glaze. Uh, to me, adds to the character of the piece. There you go, made in Hawaii. We are just very into Hawaiian and Polynesian culture because of tiki and it just will fit into our decor. Kind of looks like he's holding a mushroom, but I don't think he is. Wait. <laughs> Oh, the little dancer palms, duh, Aaron. So yeah, 26 bucks, but we love them and they are flawless. I was super excited to find these. My brother has these chalkware bottles, very mid-century uh, and they're orange, but I've also seen them in green. I, first of all, love chalkware. In fact, I even try to make my own. Um, I just haven't had time the past few summers. You can check out my chalkware video uh, if you just search Pete's Treasures Chalkware, <laughs> uh, where I show you my molds, but I so wish I had one of these molds. This was only $10 total, which is a steal. Normally you can find them for $75 on eBay. We met this lady and gave her our card and she was super, super sweet. She's also a teacher like me. And she said she just got these from her friend's mother who had them in her house since like the 60s. I just love that story and $10 was a great price. It is in great condition, only a few little tiny, it's not even chips, it's just like wear on the sides, if that makes sense. But I actually don't care for this color, although I do like how it has kind of like a opalescent, pearlescent sheen. I do think I kind of want to paint it, but maybe I'll let Matthew paint him. <laughs> or we'll sell as is because, you know, I haven't seen one with this color. Uh, but, you know, I have some really good chalkware paints that I think could make them look really nice. And I guess worse comes to worse, we could always paint them back to the original color. So, yeah, super happy about my $10 bottles right there. Now, next... I paid up for this, it was $5, but I have never seen anything from Willow. And so this is just a Quaker Oats Willow Bowl from Whirly Industries. And we've talked about Whirly Industries in our other videos because they make a lot of vintage plastic. Um, it's not melamine, it is plastic. And yeah, this, can, this has gone for like eight, but there's many listed for over $15. And I think because I just don't see Willow things anywhere. Let me know in the comments if you find Willow at the thrift store or anything like that. It just was kind of unique to me. Last but certainly not least, some of my favorite things that I got were these two science fiction art books. Chiaro Scuro, which is an art style, I believe, from Tim White. 
This was $5. He actually had two of them, which I would have got the other one for real. Oh, look at that art. But the other one had some water damage, so I left it behind. But it can go for about $25 to $30. I, however, will probably keep and enjoy it and not end up reading it and then sell it later <laughs> just because I have so many books, but I really like this style of art. Let me know if you've ever heard of this artist. Um, it makes me want to really get into some more science fiction things because I, I really like that genre, especially vintage. I am super happy with this book and it looks like it was produced in the UK, Paper Tiger. Originally $22, man, I got a deal for $5. And now this one was in a plastic bag, so I didn't even look through it, but it can go for about 15 to 25. The New Visions, a collection of modern science fiction art. And it, I'm super glad I got it. It was five bucks as well. And each page features a different artist and their art. Man, that's just cool because I never find science fiction art books. Um, I know I don't look through a lot of books because I don't go to half price books very often and things like that, but the thrift stores definitely don't have stuff like this that I easily find. So I love learning about new artists and yeah, it's from 1982. So hope you enjoyed seeing our adventure to the DFW Thrift Convention. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't. We really enjoy taking you places and we want to do that even more this summer uh, and hope you liked this haul. So thank you so much for watching. Keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look. Bye everybody.